Hey there, Cancer. Welcome. Well, I have a new spread for you guys. This is going to be uh, manifesting your destiny. So it's going to be Law of Attraction. So we're going to see what we can pull up here. So um, if you guys like this, um, please give me a thumbs up. But um, please put in the comments, I like. So I, then I could do them once a month because I'm, I'm looking for ideas to add more um, readings. Because I, I don't want to do the same kind all the time because I get pretty boring. So I'm looking for new ones. So let me know if you like this one. And, um, yeah, so, let's see here. So, um, this is a timeless reading. So, we're going to just get right into it and see what happens here. So, the first card is going to be on um, what your wish or desire is. So, think of what you really want, what you want to manifest, and we'll see what we get here. Okay, let's see. And I'm not going to be doing any of the, um, the letters or the signs or, um, the names because this is really going to be focused just on your energy and if other things come up other people come up okay so be it but we're um we're trying to just focus on what you want because that's where where we manifest and that's how we achieve our goals and and to get more good things to come into our, our life to focus on this um you know affirmations and manifestations and and that's what we're going to do here we're going to work on that with you guys okay so what is your wish or desire Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. So this is security. This is um, fi financial fortune, earnings, economic stability, um, maybe profitable real estate investments. And your dreams will make you feel fulfilled on a personal level. So that's what you're trying to look. You're trying to feel like you're financially secure. That's what you're looking for. Okay. So now, the past factors that might be influencing the, this current wish or desire, right? Let's see. Okay. So we have here a page of cups. So the past influences could be here. Um, this is, well, this is some... This one might be some young admirer, someone that you're interested in or they're interested in you. They might be younger than you. They might be blonde. Um, it could be a friend or a collaborator that brings you good news about making your dreams come true. So there might be someone coming towards you from the past that has some kind of news for you about what you're trying to do here. They might not know what they're what you're trying to do but they might be coming and giving you some kind of information so that's interesting so what to expect in the immediate future let's see okay now we have the king of cups well that's interesting so with the king of king of cups this is a professional um you might be meeting a man that's full of love or one who is seeking a partner he will allow you to make your dreams of love come true okay so someone's coming in so there's gonna be a love connection coming in you're focusing on your stability with your money but there might be a love connection coming now for the fourth card we got two that jumped out so we have the hierophant here and also the one of the, the oh so the ace of wands nice so the ace of wands so this is the present influencing factors so we have some kind of um beginning here it's very likely that your dream will come true because luck is on your side your desire for affirmation and success will bring new opportunities and then we have the higher fan here which is um if you want your your dream to come become a reality verify that there are the contradiction between yourself your decisions your commitments and your words okay that there's no contradictions did i say there are yeah there's no contradictions so what this is saying is that when you put out there your affirmations don't put any doubt in there keep it real keep it strong keep it positive and never say i want because then you always be wanting so just make sure that um your commitment is your own word so whatever you are saying what you think about you create so this is saying that you're you now this looks really good okay now others who may be helpful or situations that may be helping you let's see what that is okay now we have this is the page of swords well okay now with the page of swords we know the pages 
page of swords, you know. This is the watchman, they call it. This is the seducer. A thief, a spy, speculations, observation, calculation. You may find um, a negative surprise while waiting for your your dream to come true. So something might appear here. And this is for others who may help you. I don't know why this would be a help to you. It might be that someone might be exposing this person because here you have the spy guy. I, you know, I would think is see this person running. You got this this cowboy lassoing this one. So there might be someone coming in to help you with um, this seducer, this thief, this spy, someone that is trying to. Um, I don't know. Some someone that's trying to come into your life and and. You know, a very suave, manic manipulative type of person. But they're, so others might help you to expose this person or to see this person for who they really are. Okay, now, forces which may oppose your wish or desire. Let's see what that is. And we have the devil. Okay, so with the devil card here, this is contrast. Make a list, writing on one side what you do not desire, and on the other side what you would would desire instead. So this comparison will help you to understand many things. So they're, what they're saying here is that if you're having any kind of things that you're thinking about what you don't want, that is a no-no because whatever you think about, you bring about. So whatever you're saying you don't want, um, you write it on one side of the paper or even get two papers, and then on the other side. You have to um, change the, your wording so that you make it so it's um, what you desire instead. Because it seems like these thoughts are coming in. And once you put it on paper and you see it in front of you, and then there's something solid, something concrete there, then you could change it to say, no, 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 no. I'm, I keep on thinking that. I'm going to get that. I don't want that. So change it and word it for the way you want it. Okay. Now... What's the best course of action or advice? Let's see here. Ooh, we have the King of Wands. Well, you have a lot of people helping you, or a lot of people in your life at this time. So with the King of Wands, this is a gentleman. This is an honest man. This one's that's someone that's committed. This is someone that is important and indulgent. Can help you achieve your dream. Trust this person. Whoever this is, is there someone in your life that is a, a very gentle soul, a, um, a very trustworthy soul? So that trust whatever this person is coming in. I think you'll know who that is. Um, okay, so we have with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have the, with the Swords, we have here Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And then with the Cubs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, now let's... Oh, the Devil is Capricorn. And... This five here is is um, Taurus, the Hierophant. Okay, so now guidance on how to proceed in the future. Let's see. How should you proceed? We have. Okay. Well, this is nice. We have judgment. So this is a renewal. So if you want to make a drastic change in your life, find the courage to take a risk, dusting off your old dreams, that you have abandoned and maybe that's what you need to do you need, you need to bring something back into your life maybe something you thought was you know, put it aside you said okay this is not good maybe that's what you need to need to renew something here because this is um a card of renewal okay so something else is coming back around so take another look at it whether it's a person a situation and um it might be a good time now for this thing okay now the next card is expect results if guidance is followed. So what is the expected results if you follow this reading I was telling you here? Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Life, it's called in this deck, it's um, evaluate yourself on each aspect indicated by the wheel on a scale of 1 to 10. Now this could be health, money, love, work, leisure, spirituality, etc. You could separate this and then see how you feel about that. You know, See where you, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you feel about it? 
you will be able to understand your shortcomings when what you will like and what where your potential satisfaction lies so then you could say where your energy is going to in order to get this to come in for you okay the wheel of life okay now on the bottom deck we have here now on this it's justice is number eight so this is discipline Fuel your dreams every day by visualizing and acting like it is already. That is how you manifest. That is the whole trick to manifesting. You have to act like you already have it. So whatever you want, you have to really just say, oh, it, and really show a lot of um, energy towards it and um, enthusiasm. So it'll be like, say you wanted a new car and you go, oh, I'm so happy I got my new car. Oh, this is so exciting. I have a new car. I can't believe I have a new car. And really feel it. And I bet you, you'll be getting a new car. So, that's how, but never act like I want, never say I want, and never put, phrase something as in the future, like it's coming, because then it'll always be coming. Okay, so let's get some more cards on this. Let's see, uh, let's clarify this security card with the Four of Pentacles. Let's see what that's all about. We have romance. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, whatever you're doing here, you might find romance at work, or this might be also um somewhere where money's coming in. That's where romance might come in. It might be also maybe real estate. Maybe if you're buying a house or involved in real estate, that's where romance might come in. Okay. Now, um, let's see about this past influence which is this page of cups okay this is the young admirer the blonde person it could be a friend or a collaborator that's gonna bring you good news about making your dreams come true so let's see what else we get that healing a time for reflection prayers will help your situation so you need to heal and that's gonna help your situation so that's gonna that's gonna come in. Someone's gonna help you heal from such some situation. And when you heal and when things are better, everything flows better. Things come out better. Okay, now this came flying out. It's weird because there's two cards that came flying out. This is so whatever this is, present influencing factor, there are challenges for you. There's negative and unhealthy obstacles are upon you. Be careful. But this also is saying that this is gonna work out for you. It might be a challenge to do what you need to do here because we do have the um, Ace of Wands, right? Yeah, it's the beginning. It's likely um, you draw, and you also have the Hierophant here, which is, you know, your dreams become reality uh, when you don't contradict yourself, when you know what you really want. So this is what is a challenge for you. It's a challenge for you to make sure that, um, that there's no contradictions because you're saying one thing and thinking another thing or wanting one thing but you're thinking something and whatever you think about you're going to bring in so this is a challenge but this will bring in your dreams will come true because with the ace of wands this is very likely that your dreams will come true because luck is on your side your desire for affirmation and success will bring you new opportunities but it has been a challenging thing for you okay now what about the other people that will be helpful? And we have here this page of swords, the seducer <laughs> and the spy guy. Let's see. Patience, being willing to accept delay. Know that anything worth having takes time. Okay, so you have to be patient with this person or patient with this, whatever this person is bringing, because this is bringing something to you in order for you to fulfill your desires here. So you might have to deal with someone that's younger, uh, but it does, it says it could bring good news. So you just have to be patient with it. Did I not put a card up here? How did I skip that one? Really? Okay. I don't know how, I, I didn't talk about the page of cups. Huh. That, no, I did. I. Okay, I guess I didn't put an extra card now. Okay, let's let's find out about this page of cups. Oof, okay. We have here safe. It has to be safe for you to love. Okay, so when this romance comes in and everything, and you do have this page of cups here. This is the young Amari, the blonde, a friend, a collaborator. So, um 
I'm not missing a card. I, did I really do that? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, so and this has to be safe here. You have to feel comfortable. You have to feel safe. Maybe if this person's younger than you, um, and they, they are someone that wants romance, maybe you're not too sure if you want to be with someone younger than you. But it's also saying something about bringing in good news here. So with this um, page of cups. Okay, let's see. What about the devil? Why do we have the devil here in the forces which oppose your wish of desire? Hmm. This is where you make your list. Crossroads. Okay, that makes sense. There is an indecision. Someone needs to make a choice. So, you know, you have to make a choice here that, and it's with, it could be with a Capricorn. Um, it's also it, just the contrast. You know, trying to make a choice with the crossroads, how to make things happen if you're in doubt. Okay, now let's see. What about this? king of wands the gentleman balance okay so this is this king of wands with a gentleman honest man he's committed important and, and indulgent can help you to achieve your dream and you could trust this person because they bring balance into your life something is not an equal give and take focus on balancing yourself so this person gonna help you balance okay and now what about this world card oh no judgment card sorry the renewal we have here wisdom okay so the guidance on how to proceed in the future is to be smart you have the wisdom card let the accumulation of your life experience guide you to your decision so whatever you're here there's a judgment coming in there's something coming back around be guided by what's happened in the past and make your decision that way okay and now the expected results of the guidance that to follow we have the wheel of fortune we have or actually it's called the wheel of life here so we have new love. A potential love connection awaits. So that's what's coming in for you. When you, whatever you're trying to, to achieve here, in the end, there will be a new love connection. And the bottom, we have soulmate. A connection from your past life has emerged. Embrace the connection. Now when this means that you knew them in past life, maybe you already met them in this lifetime, maybe not. You could have been with them in several other lifetimes and maybe it's the first time now that they're coming in and this is the right time because we do have the wheel of fortune here or the what do they call it the the wheel of, of life with this new love okay so this looks really good guys so i hope you enjoyed it remember this is a general reading it's not a person reading take the parts that resonate leave the parts that don't please let me know if it resonates and please um like share subscribe and comment and also please if you like this new um spread it won't be taking away anything from the other spreads it'll be addition to because i have to add new spreads in order to have new um new readings out otherwise i'll I'll cut back on the readings so um let me know if you like it give me a i, I like that's all you have to put a, i like in the comment and um, i love you guys so much i appreciate all you like share subscribe and comments and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you so much